Joining us now live from the great state of Minnesota is a 12 year NFL vet out of Notre Dame, a uh, place that we were able to visit a couple weeks ago. What a beautiful campus. Beautiful. What a beautiful campus. They didn't like Connor, no. but I loved everything about it. This past weekend, he had 14 tackles, uh, three sacks, wide. two tackles for loss, wide. and a forced fumble against the Panthers in a game winning attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, the hitman, Harrison Smith. Yeah. What's up, dude? How's it going? Hey, pretty good game, huh? Are you just seeing the field Thanks, well, man. or you're seeing the field well, or what happened there? Um, I mean, a couple of them, I was a free runner, so like I just got to make the play, and uh, it was good though. It was a good team effort. We needed to win. Um, you know, we were zero three, so kind of clawing back right now. Okay, so how are the vibes over there? Because last year, and I, you guys know this stat, uh, but you're the first Vikings player we've had on the show this particular year. We've been fans of the Vikings for a long time. You guys have been going through it this year, so we haven't been able to chat with everybody over there. Last year, eleven and zero one-score games. This year, you were 0-3 going in this past weekend because of one-score games. Did it feel like the football gods were working against you guys because of everything that they gave you last year? What is the difference, you think, between this year and last year for you guys? Uh, I mean, it's, yeah, sometimes it feels like that, but, you know, I th I'd say the main difference is just the turnover differential. Um, you know, not not making enough on defense, um, not holding on, not holding on to it uh, as as well as we should in those early games, um, special teams, offense. Um, so we're we're working to correct that. How do you feel? How's the body feel four weeks into this? Obviously, you just had your. I mean, is that the best game you've ever had? That feels like a historic game right there. Uh, it's it's a big stat game. Like as a safety, sometimes your best games are low stat games. Like you cover well, you do your assignment. Um, but from a stat standpoint, yeah, that one was pretty big, I guess. Flying home, you know, the uh, PR guy probably hands you a sheet. Hey, do you know this is the shit you did today? Is that what happened after the game, or when did you realize it? Uh, yeah, that was in the locker room. Um, I was like, yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot more than I realized. Because in the moment, you're just you're just kind of doing your doing your thing, making tackles, whatever, trying to get us in the right calls. Um, it was fun. Those games are fun. Um, we, we, kind of when you get a lot of action. Hey, three sacks, you just propelled yourself into, like, top ten in the league in sacks. Let's make sure we keep that up. TJ White, Khalil Mack got six. Now Harrison's wrong. Hey, Harrison's on tail there. Uh -huh. Miles Garrett needs to watch it. Got a safety in Minnesota doing his thing. Go ahead, AJ. Harrison, you, you got to see Bryce Young uh, up close and personal many times. What do you think of him? you think he has a, a bright future in this league? Yeah, he made some plays that were – I was like, okay, you know, this guy's got some juice. He can, he can uh, move around, extend some plays, and um, – He's got a he's got a good arm on him, and you know it's it's hard to come in as a rookie, but he's uh, he's he'll be just fine. Hey, there's some stat. It's like a 30-20 stat that we saw this morning. It's either like 30 sacks, 20 picks, 20 picks, 30 stats. You enter this club. The only other people that have that are all Hall of Famers. 12 years into this, nobody ever talks about the hitman. Nobody. Ever. The only conversation that ever comes up about you is like, hey, the way this guy disguises stuff, it is remarkable. He's able to hide up here. You don't know if he's going into cover two. You don't know if he's doing this. That's kind of only been the chatter outside of that. But as these stats continue, to stack up and the years continue to stack up you're putting together a hall of fame career and nobody knows about it really outside of minnesota hate that love that realize that and how do we change it uh like that's something i don't like i honestly really don't worry about that um the disguise thing is probably your fault from when when rogers was on the show um so i'm gonna blame you for that one but right. yeah i mean i just try to I, I just try to stack up good plays and good games and when I'm done, whatever it looks like, it looks like. People like watching it. That's cool. If they don't, I still enjoy doing it. So, Well, you're good, okay? You're really good at the football. Hell yeah. You're really, really good at the football. 12 years in the NFL, you feel old? Man, sometimes I, I try to fight it. Um, I, like, I'll start, to, I'll start to catch myself being like, oh, back in the, you know, back in the day, this is what it was like. So I, I try to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, I try to like not, I try to never think about like my body not feeling young again or anything like that. Just don't even, don't even consider it. Just keep going. Whatever, whatever I need to do to get ready for the next game, get it done, get ready to go. What are we doing? Anything weird? You know, AJ drank his piss. Did you, are you doing anything weird now that you're getting I, a little bit older? Kirk's good. I haven't drank my piss yet. Um, 
smart. I do I do some weird stretching stuff now for sure. Um, kind of like I saw some stuff like Ichiro used to do. Oh yeah. And um, so some like like kind of open your body up on a almost like a hey we got nothing but space here because hey, i would device. like to maybe start doing this too yeah. there's probably a lot of people yeah. watching if you, you would us? like to show us we'd love to love to kind of i don't have the machine we would be i don't have the machine with me right now but um it's basically like a pulley system you attach your your arms and your ankles and just kind of stretch yourself out and Whoa. mr gray uh, work on your flexibility <laughs> yeah <laughs> jeez yeah, yeah, yeah. where do you no, keep that it machine actually looks like that people like so I have I built a machine at my place in Tennessee and here in Minnesota, uh, and everyone that sees them are like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever keeps you going, man. And obviously, yeah. you're playing your best ball. And the boys have some questions for you. We'll definitely dive into that. What's Flores been like over there? What has it been like this year under the new system? Obviously, not the hottest start, but what have you learned from his style of offense that has made you better? And how do you think it's going to translate for the rest of the season? He's he's obviously very um, aggressive and he's, he's kind of been that way his whole career. Um, you know, we're doing, doing some different things here and there. And, um, but the thing about Flo is like, he's very, um, he's very straightforward. He's very determined. Uh, you, you kind of know where you stand, you know what he wants out of you. Uh, and that makes it, that makes it pretty, I don't want to say easy, but it makes it like very black and white as far as, um, what he expects out of us. And, and within that, uh, the pressure stuff is fun. Uh, the way we're we're trying to do things is 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 some of it's new to me. Uh, you know, as long as I've been around, and it's it's fun to learn new stuff. Yeah, I assume that's like refreshing. I assume like as you, because you're old. Hey, you're old as shit, dude. No, I know. You got these pulley systems. You're putting Don't in these it. sex rooms that Jeez. you have. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're, you're getting old. You know what I mean? But having something like. Having to learn, I feel like that is probably refreshing for you. Is that kind of what you felt this off season with him coming in? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the first couple OTAs, I missed the first couple when I was watching it. I was watching the defense, and I was like, man, I need to learn this stuff because I don't exactly know what we're doing. And um, just, like, having to kind of press yourself that way, um, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, it does. It kind of sparks you a little bit. Um, makes you feel a little youthful, so I think it's a good thing. Hell yeah. Darius has a question for you. Yeah, you've been around for a long time. We just mentioned play for a few different coordinators with very different styles. So, like, if it's a younger player on either side of the ball watching, like, how have you been productive? Like, what goes into that preparation for you to be productive in so many different uh, systems? That's a good question. Um, so, taking it way back to college, I actually played uh, some, like, Sam linebacker in a 4-3 in college so i think that helped me that helped me uh just understanding like how to fit up runs and how the box how the front the the front and the linebackers work and how the safeties fit into that and then getting to the league like my first couple years it was more like cover two cover four system um and then with zim it was it was a little more aggressive more matchy coverage mm -hmm. and then um ed donatel more like the vic fangio um, kind of shell defense and now with flow. So I've had, I, I've had some good experiences, but I'd say the main thing is like figuring out your main role in every kind of every play. Like what is, what's the thing you need to take care of first and where do you go from there? And I think working that way uh, allows you to kind of take care of your job and then, and then expand from there. Um, no matter what's asked from you, like I, the thing I love about safety is you can get involved in every level of the defense. It's not always just coverage. Um, I don't like, I always hated being described as like a box safety, uh, even though I, I, I'm down there a lot and I, I like being down there, but I also like being back and, yeah. and blitzing and doing it all. Cause it, it just kind of all goes together. And then that's when you can make the disguises work for you and make it a little tougher with the quarterback. Hey, your hair looks sick, though. You took the hat off in the middle of that thing. Good flow right now. You feel good about where your hair game's at? Yeah, it was a little longer. Uh, so I'm trying to grow it back. Oh, um, you're embarrassed. But it's, it's in a decent spot right now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. You're playing great football. Yep. Hey, maybe keep it this length forever. AQ has a question for you. Yeah, Harrison, with the college game infiltrating the NFL a lot more every year with all the shifts, all the motions, all the eye candy, how do you let – all that stuff not affect your eyes with your reads moving forward. Yeah, that's it's it's hard. Um, 
the game's changed so much since I got into the league. Like, <clears throat> like you said, with all the motions and like, like there was a, we played Miami last year and Tyreek ran like the the jet motion and then he ran a post and it was like on top of us so fast. And I was like, that's not even like a play you, that exists. <laughs> um, so there's so there's like these all these new things that are that are constantly coming about just because guys are like. I don't know if it's guys are getting like more freaky fast and athletic. And, um, and then coaches are like realizing what you can really do with this stuff to make it hard on defenses. Um, so kind of like I said, with the playing in different, in different defenses, like it always starts with like, what, what do I need to take care of here? And sometimes it feels weird to um, not be affected by those motions and stuff. But oh, 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 oh. Hey, we made it right now because yep. we've been told that we'll get like Jeez. a multiple hundred thousand dollar fine if that thing makes its way through our microphones. Happy to hear your phone's working. You'll be safe if like an alien invasion yeah. happens, yeah. anything like that. Is it still it go is it, it, it still going off? I think it's good now. We're, yeah, we're good. We survived. Wow, not a zombie. They're two minutes, two minutes off. Early. What's the deal? I was told 220. Is that clock on? Is it 218 where you are? Yeah. Or 118. 118. 119. 118 for me. Two minutes early. What this government, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what time's this two o'clock meeting? People lost hey, better, better early than late. Yeah. What, what is the Punctual. hell? Punctuality. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Biden. Better early. Jeez. What's your problem? <laughs> it's on the government. Hey, look, it's on them. We're trying to prepare. You're screwing us up. I mean, what is your problem? Sorry about that. You're in the middle of a great answer, and obviously the government said we're going to have to make sure everybody's prepared for yeah, when they shut it down. They shut it down. You shut it down, uh, just like you've been doing all season. Is this your best season uh, thus far? You feel like you're about to have your best season thus far going in? Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just keep playing. Like, um, I don't know. Those I, first every... three weeks had to suck. I mean, those had to be absolutely heart wrench, like terrible, especially in your twelfth year with what you guys were able yeah. to do last year. <laughs> so whenever you have this Carolina game, I assume it's a very motivating thing for the entire building. Is that an accurate depiction? Yeah, 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 I'd say that's accurate. You can kind of feel feel that. And every year is like the rosters are so different and the makeup of the of the team is so different that you don't know, you know, if guys are used to winning or not used to winning. So um, being able to put a plan together and execute it uh, and actually see it follow through, I think is good for us, good, good for the young guys, good for the old guys like myself to um, – just kind of get a little a little boost of confidence. A lot of football left. AJ has a question for you. Hey, are you still uh, flying planes? I know last time we spoke, you're a you're pretty experienced uh, pilot. Yeah, I haven't flown in a couple of years. Um, oh, smart. I flew, for, I flew for like maybe six, seven years pretty pretty frequently. Um, had my – like I, I got a plane and everything. I had a Bonanza. I was flying around. Um, did some pretty cool stuff. Um, but now I, I got into golf, as you guys know, you know, seeing you guys out in Tahoe. Yeah. So, um, golf takes up most of my time now. We're happier on like, the ground, yeah. not yeah. in the Bonanza. Yep. Happier. Yeah. Doing well, sometimes, sometimes, but, uh, yeah, I figure that there's just not enough time right now to, to be as safe as I'd like. Oh, to be. look how cool oh, it is happening. Is that, is yeah, that, that was a, that was a 25. I got to fly in, um, Jeez. and like get down in the, like the little gunner, got the, the the gunner seat when we were landing, it was pretty, it's pretty sweet. Uh, Fagan, Fagan Fighters Museum in Minnesota, hot spot. Hey, shout out shoot to Fagan. People. Yeah, did you shoot anybody? Did you was it loaded? It, it, it wasn't, but I got and they had the the gun up. Rooster top. flares. <laughs> Put your head out of the out of the top of the plane. It was pretty sick. Oh, did you have Hitman on your little suit onesie thing? Ooh, <laughs> nah, that wasn't that wasn't <laughs> around yet. When'd that come? Um, Paul Allen. Um, the guy that does our games was he was calling me that for Beast. a while, maybe after my rookie year. I think I got kicked out of a game and he gave me that hit or that that nickname. He's awesome, he's very, yeah, very he's good. Good. yeah, he is <laughs> very talented. Yeah, we got the chance to watch Seahawks Vikings preseason game, yeah, in the NFL network. It was on NFL network, and home team was Seattle. They had Seattle's call on it, and then NFL network was like. Eh, eh, Technical difficulties. Sorry, we're going to go over to Minnesota's coverage. And it was a Paul Allen showcase. He is a yeah. legend on a microphone over there. He's good. He does horse races, too. And he's... Oh! Whoa! Oh, yeah. I couldn't yeah, even... you would love it. 
I know you have to leave soon. Ty has a question for you, though, about this past week. Yeah, Harrison, just curious. After being teammates with him for so long, did you find yourself at any point on Sunday being like, man, every chance I get, I, I just want to hit the piss out of feeling. <laughs> just try to knock his block <laughs> off every opportunity I get. Um, no, not really. Um, it It is kind of weird, like, when you get close with some guys and then, like, you never, like, I've never hit feeling, I guess even though you practice against them all the time. Um, but actually there was, there was one play that we, we kind of got, kind of got tangled up. His feet got tangled up. So I felt, I felt kind of guilty about it, but um, you know, it's just, it's just part of the game. Do you uh, chat? Guys, Do you talk shit? On. Not normally. Oh. If it arises, I'll participate, you know, yeah. I'm not going to not participate, but um I don't like to give anybody extra motivation unless like that's that if, if that's what they want to do that day, that's that's what we're doing. Yeah, you're a guy that shit talks what I just heard. Uh, Darius has a very important question yeah, for you. Very important. And we kind of talked about it briefly when you're on the man to man pot. Uh, kind of your experience being a white DB in those DB rooms coming up. Great, great uh, Minnesota safety. I think he had 81 picks. Forget his name right now. We had John Lynch, but Paul Cross. Pr Paul Cross. There we go. Are you the greatest white DB ever? Oh. <laughs> um, no, I can't. I can't stake that claim. Mostly because I wear Paul Krause's number um, with the Vikings. He had 81 picks. Which I don't. I don't think that will ever get broken. Nah, uh, that's a lot of people. that record. So, I mean, that's like. I'm just glad he let me wear his number. Um, Was it retired? Uh, and then you got you got John Lynch. Uh, it's not retired. Um, Jeez, racist. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very happy he let me wear it. Um, you know, John Lynch. Is there any other ones? Dick Seahorn. Was, Dick the Seahorn. Like Seahorn was a dog. Dick LeBeau. Oh, Dick LeBeau, Dick LeBeau yeah. is yeah. a good one, and I I don't think a lot of people know that one. Like the younger guys nowadays, he yeah, had but, a ton of picks. Yeah, but in like, like seventy picks. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, but in like nineteen fifteen though. Yeah, they're Whoa. barely even throwing yeah, the but, football. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's more impressive. That's the that's the debate of like, do you do could he play in this era? Like, you got to just stick to the era they played in. And he was balling. Yeah. I'm on your side here. But I'm just saying, <laughs> back in the day, a lot of white DBs. Yeah. And then it just kind of, kind of. Yep. A lot kind of wing of, tees. Too. Hey, we're proud of you. We're proud of you. <laughs> yeah. You know that. Everybody's yeah. proud of you out there. And I assume, I mean, you're 12 years in now. Those first couple years, there was a milk check on yeah. old Hitman for a, on a regular basis. You got to prove yourself. And uh, I think you've done that. Yeah. Clearly, more than enough. Uh, you have to leave because you have practice. Weird, right? You guys have late practice. This is late practice. Well, it's uh, we're an hour behind you guys, I guess. So it's two o'clock practice. It's not. I don't know. I don't know. You like this? There was a time too where we had two white safeties with Andrew Sandejo and myself, and Ooh, that was Sandejo. like oh. Sandejo flew. We were always like, why don't, why don't people just bomb it on us? <laughs> 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 they certainly were thinking about it. They were certainly thinking about Did it. Did yeah, Zibikowski? Yeah, Tommy's yeah. Tommy. I, I caught him for a year. I was uh like my redshirt year. I, I watched him play a lot and he was um awesome. he was the most fun to watch at punt returner, really. He was fearless back there. He was oh, yeah. he was good. Yeah, I think he's a firefighter in Chicago now. He's an undefeated yeah. boxer. Yeah. He sold out Madison Square Garden in college. That was when mm. he had to do a full wow. is he allowed to make the money yeah. off of the boxing yeah. fight in Madison Square Garden? Imagine that now. With the NIL on it, that'd be cool now. That would be Somebody's got to do that. Big deal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anybody's got the cut of Tommy Zibikowski's jet, <laughs> yeah. though. You know what I mean? You're going to have to come yeah. from a certain place to be a professional boxer and a safety good enough to play at Notre Dame. Last question. Last question. Notre Dame was awesome. Was there any other schools you were potentially thinking about going to? And once you got on the campus, were you just like, yeah, this is it? That was the most campusy campus I've ever <laughs> mm, been on. That's a good description. It is. It yeah. really is. It just, yeah, you nailed it. Okay, thank you. I'm happy I'm not the only – and I assume others have done that. But everybody there – wants the football team to win. It felt like, you know, some places, maybe the academia isn't on, especially at a place like Notre Dame. It felt like that whole campus was like a football campus. You felt that, experienced that? It was beautiful there. Was that the place you were going to go regardless? Uh, it was – it wasn't at first, actually. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, grew up, like, right by the university. So I, I really wanted to go there as a young young kid. Um just kind of as it unfolded, I just thought that was the best place for me to go. Um, 
but I looked, I looked a few other places like SEC schools, um, Stanford, my grades were like marginal to get in there. <laughs> um, they wanted me to take a couple more AP classes and like the, uh, it was too much, but if, if it, it, if I was going somewhere in the SEC, it had to be Tennessee, and uh, Notre Dame just seemed like the right spot. Yeah, they're back, buddy. Oh, yeah. What a win! What a win! They are back. They're this, in my opinion, this is like the the realest team I've seen since like really probably since you were you were playing AJ. Um, oh, then when AJ split jersey back Brady. with Brady and them, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the split jersey days. Yeah, those are good days. Those are good days. <laughs> yep. Jersey's still alive and well. Had it on the other day. Have an incredible practice. Congrats on the – I think you got to be NFC Player of the Week, right? Has to, I would assume yep. so. Has to be. I don't, th- I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Witherspoon, Witherspoon from Seattle maybe. popped Ooh. off. Oh, he popped time. off. So. Yeah. Did yeah. he have – Co-defensive Player of the Week. 14 tackles. Have three. to respect that. What you did? Yeah, 14 tackles. Now, he had two sacks and a pick six. So, nah. 14 tackles, three sacks, two tackles for loss, and a force fight. A game winner, a game I think. Winner, yeah. yeah, it was a game winner, pretty much. I mean, you, I mean, I like your humility, but this is just the story of the hitman. Nobody cares. Let's not give him an award. <laughs> and you just keep chugging along. We appreciate you, brother. Keep crushing it over there. I uh, appreciate you, man. Thanks Ladies, for having me. Hey, no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Smith. Yeah.